Welcome back to Squawk in the Street. The number of workers employed by space companies jumped nearly 19% in the five years ended 2021. That's according to the Labor Department. That, as the space economy has blasted off. But the diversity of those swelling employee ranks has not kept pace. So an industry initiative is looking to tackle that problem. Christine Cruz is a senior at UC Irvine studying chemical engineering. She's also an intern at the Aerospace Corporation's X Lab where students get a hands-on experience helping design and build prototypes, like satellites. Here at Aerospace, I think they really, they really have a lot of confidence in the interns, and they will give you work to do on your own. So you do feel like you're not just being with your hand held. You are able to do the work yourself. Crews may soon be joined by thousands of additional students across the industry this coming year. As the space economy has blasted off... Lift off. <laughs> So, too, has demand for engineers and other highly skilled workers. But the diversity of that talent pool has not kept pace. You'll find that the number of women and people of color are about one half to one third of what's represented in our society. Uh, and those numbers really have not improved that much for the industry. So the Aerospace Corporation crafted the Space Workforce 2030 initiative an industry effort comprised of four goals to bring more women and underrepresented groups into the worker fold. Part of that process, recruit more students. It's clear from the research that companies innovate better, the more diverse your workforce is, because you've got people with different perspectives that come in and see things differently. And we are in the innovation business. The first of its kind pledge quickly swelled to involve more than 30 companies, including Lockheed Martin and SpaceX, offering 3,000 internships to students. An early participant, Slingshot Aerospace, a startup co-founded by Melanie Strickland that tracks space debris in orbit. For me personally, to watch the entire industry come around this uh, Space Workforce 2030 is a first. Um, I've been in this industry for 25 plus years, and this is definitely a new start. So space Workforce 2030 was unveiled in April at a big space conference, what's called the Space Symposium. But as with many things that are space related, it is a mission that is expected to take years to come to fruition. That said, prospective interns, who will be called the National Space Interns, have just weeks to apply. The deadline for this is actually February 4th to submit an application. And Mike, uh, this is going to be one to watch because so many different companies, both large and small within the industry, uh, are involved in this now. And you have a growing list of colleges that are participating, too.